Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 88, where I'm having trouble finding a Chaos Dragon. Where'd he go? There he is. Trying to avoid him, uh, because I have taken quite a bit of damage, um, from this dude. Come on, dude, die, 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 die. I'm getting low on... Nice! That was, uh, some serious business going on right there. Fire or what? Come on, dude. These red particles are nasty, dude. They're the ones that hurt the most. Because when they group up like that and they all hit you together, it's like insta death. Are they going? Or are they just grouping up more? I can't tell. Nice, you can kind of. Get underground. Whew. That fight is intense. And again, I've barely, like, ever so close to maybe managed to get what I need to get done. Alright. So let's get this dude. Harvesting underway. Whew. And explosion time. Great big explosions that I probably don't need to be here for. I'm just going home. All right, dudes. So that is the third Chaos Dragon. How cool is that? Let's go charge this thing up and uh, get ready to try and upgrade our stuff. So in order to get what we need to get, we're going to need a few chaotic fusion crafting injectors and we want to have as few of these as possible um so for example if i wanted to get uh let's see i think the uses of this needs chaotic tier for a lot of the upgrades so the upgrades require four chaotic upgrades so if we ever want to upgrade any of our stuff we're going to need a fourth one of these dudes and each of these require at least one chaotic core and two dragon eggs um so we we'll want to keep that in mind um and then for reactor stabilizers, we need eight. And yeah, okay. That's cool. And then for chaos shard usages, we just have the chaotic core, which is 800 million RF, by the way. And four awakened cores, each of which are 9 million RF, so that's 36. So like, you know, 850 million RF-ish. Nothing too crazy, he said lying. Uh, and then the chronic reactor core requires 7. So in total, if we ever really want to craft anything with this, we need 8 cores. Now I do have 9 over there just for the sake of appearance. Um, but, you know, I don't think we really need all 8. What I should do is keep my upgrade keys in there. That would be kind of smart, but I'm not going to, because that would be too smart. Um, so I'm debating if I want to start working on this now or if I want to hold off a bit. So what I did do, guys, is add a recipe to the pack. Um, getting dragon eggs, even if you just had to kill the vanilla ender dragon, short of going to a, a dragon age, was kind of a hassle. So I added a recipe for dragon eggs, and I think it's relatively well balanced. Uh, so first off, you're going to need to get to Draconic here because the egg recipe requires awakened cores. So first off, you need two dragon hearts. Then you need a couple awakened cores, which requires five awakened draconium each. So you're going to need two more dragon hearts to make the awakened draconium, right? No. You need at least one more dragon heart for the awakened draconium. But you're going to need some nether stars and obviously need wyvern cores, which each require a nether star. So in total, the dragon egg recipe is something like a handful of nether stars, some awakened draconium, this only needs wyvern tier crafting? Okay, that's funny. I thought it would need draconic tier, or awakened tier crafting, but still, you need um, awakened draconium. So, yeah. And I think awakened draconium is basically wyvern tier crafting as well. So, long story short, you need a decent amount of stuff in order to get your dragon egg. So, yeah, there you go. That's cool. That's the recipe that I've decided to come up with. Um, it could have been harder, it could have been easier, but I feel like that's pretty well balanced. I just kind of came up with it off the top of my head. 
I figured needing the Awakened Core has made that expensive enough. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, and it should just make for a little bit easier of a life for people who are looking to get dragon eggs um, and being able to, to set up RF tools and mentions of dragons because they don't drop dragon eggs. Um, so if I want to do a total of, so this needs 48 million RF, I need eight of these. Uh, so we're gonna need a lot of things. We're gonna need a real lot of things in order to make this happen. Um, how am I on hearts? We've got 20 hearts, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we got some for killing each of the Chaos Dragons that we did, plus, you know, uh, I've, I've farmed a few at some point, I'm sure. So, Chaotic Tier. Should we work on this? I'm going to give it a try. Let's teach this dude how to make... How are we for eggs, by the way? We've, you know, we've got a few. Let's teach this guy how to make it. Sound cool? So, if I want these, I'm going to need eight of them, right? We're going to need eight dragon eggs. So let's just try making one. So you have, in total to make this, you need 32 Draconic Cores, you need 160 Draconium, uh, you need a couple Dragon Hearts to make your Awakened Cores, you need in total 10 Nether Stars, 120 pieces of gold, 32 diamonds. Yeah, that's expensive. But it shouldn't be too bad. If we pop over here, we should see this guy starting to craft. Nice. Yeah, so that's an expensive recipe to make a dragon egg. But, I mean, obviously you could just go kill the end dragon. That's up to you guys, though. I wanted to give an alternate method for the pack. And now that I'm seeing how expensive it is, I'm wondering if I made it too expensive. But I don't think so. I think you can either kill an ender dragon or have something that's pretty expensive. I think that's a good balance point. Um, so if we want that, then we want to do a chaotic fusion. It's going to do four diamonds and a chaotic core. So let's teach this thing the Chaotic Core recipe. So you're going to need four Awakened Draconium and four Awakened Cores and the Chaos Shard. So you're in process of making Awakened Cores with a Dragon Egg. Right, and then you've got another one coming along. Nice. All right, let's come back in a minute when this crafting is done. And then we will make, well, I'm going to make another Awakened Core off camera. And then I'll be ready to program some stuff. All right, so if we want to do the chaotic doohickey. We're gonna need four awakened cores and four awakened draconium and the chaos shard, right? So into this guy, we're gonna insert one of you um, and then any of these that don't already have it. So you can have a core, one, two, three, four. You've already got one of those. That looks good. Sweet. Now, five of them are going to be accepting, but we'll see what happens. If there's an extra Awakened, we might be in trouble. But we'll see. We'll see if that causes a problem for us. Is there really something that needs five of you? I'm guessing there is, right? Yeah, this guy needs five. Okay, well, we'll just have to try it out. Um, so now, if I were to come over here, and honestly, I'm not going to be making too many. Well, no, I am going to be making these. So we do want to learn to autocraft them. So let's get this thing programmed with it. All right, so it's four, four, and one. Four, four, and one yield the chaotic. Nice. So we're going to want to test it. Worst case, I'm going to say we should probably not make more than one of these at a time. But we can see what happens. So if I put these guys away, I didn't want to put away whatever that was. I think that was my bag, right? My ender pouch? Yeah. Uh, so if we wanted to make a chaotic core, then he has more work to do. He has to craft three of these guys before he can even... Yeah, it's expensive. Start. So in theory, he'll start crafting pretty quickly all the stuff he needs to get. And we'll let that kind of roll. Cool. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to think about how long it's going to actually take me to get eight of these dudes. Because I'm going to need eight of these. And that's a lot of resources. How am I for diamonds? Not great. Could be better. Uh, Want to quarry some more? I just used like a ton of diamonds and we're going to use more. Like it's a stack of diamonds to make an egg, right? But it's cool that I have one. 
Uh, we can use these eggs for all kinds of good stuff, by the way. You can use it to make celestial manipulators, which are pretty cool. I might want to make one of these, like, sooner than later. Um, and then, obviously, it's used for fusion crafting. And uh, there's even a dragon egg generator from Extra Utilities. Dragon Egg Mill. That produces a lot of um, Extra Utilities power. So, that's cool. All right, we'll be back in just a moment once all this auto crafting is done. Hooray! So, the auto crafting process worked. We've got a chaotic core. Oh, and by the way, now that we've got the chaotic core here, I have to add that to the whitelist for the export so it knows it's allowed to pull it out of there. And we'll just drop it into wherever I'm dropping that thing, the interface, just to make sure the crafting system marks it as completed. Otherwise, it'll think it's not done yet. So in theory, this guy should not. Okay, good, we're cool. So, let's give this guy a try, shall we? Uh, we're going to put these guys here, and we're going to want our four diamonds that we need. Swinks. And that should go. Nice. Chaotic fusion crafting. Just a bunch of RF needed. I'm starting to get to the point where I might want to consider <laughs> having more storage. Remember, remember a few episodes back I said I've got 9 billion RF, I'll never need that much. Uh, kind of thinking that was a mistake to say. Because Draconic Revolution's like, fooled you. And uh, suddenly, RF is a thing that, while I do have a decent amount, and we're still producing like the crazy amount. Wow, that is a rendering glitch if I've ever seen one. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You see all those uh, wooden tools hanging out above? Okay, I have no idea what that's about. But, um, is that from the steam texture? Beats me. Really, dude? Nice try. Uh, but we've got our first chaotic fusion injector. Neat. Uh, we might just want to make our... Hey, come back here, you. I need to get this thing. I removed it at some point. Want to make sure that this thing is getting power. Nice. So, I made Dragon Egg expensive, didn't I? I did make them a touch expensive. Um, what I'm going to do, I don't know if I want to jump right into, well, there's a couple things I could do here, right? So there's a few things I could do at this point to make my life a little bit better. I could upgrade this thing, which is currently a tier four energy core, up to a tier seven, which would store a lot more power. And then we could ramp up power production. So there's obviously... Uh, what we're working towards is um, this dude, the Draconic Reactor Core, uh, which will allow me to... I don't even know how the Draconic Reactor works. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, it, it's not really different from 1710, from what I understand, so it's pretty much the same. But uh, in terms of how it actually works, I couldn't tell you. Not a clue. I'd have to go research 1710, and we'll get to that eventually. The other option we have for power gen is the rainbow generator. Dun, dun, dun. So this guy is a pretty powerful block that ultimately can produce 25 million RF per tick, which is a lot because uh, it's about a thousand times as much as this thing is producing, which is currently at 28,000, right? 28,000 versus 25 million. Um, it is difficult to get up and running and automate, though, because the only way the rainbow generator works is by having one of each other extra utilities generator running nearby. So they all have to be running at the exact same time. Should be doable. Should theoretically be doable. Um, but definitely going to require some effort. So I have to make a decision. So I'm going to stop for a minute, think about how I want to proceed, right? Because we could... We could definitely do some more infusing, and we could work towards getting the generator. Um, but one way or another, I'm probably going to want to upgrade this guy to a tier 7. I mean, we can always do 5 or 6, but I mean, at, at 8 is probably a little extreme. 8 requires several hundred of those um, um, awakened blocks. So I think we'd have to kill about 100 dragons in order to get the awakened blocks we need for a tier 8. So I'm probably not going to do a tier 8, just because. Uh, so we'll be back in a minute, like I said. Let me think this through. So I'm looking at the math. Uh, so currently we have a tier 4 energy core, right? Um, 
So we've currently got 54 draconian blocks and 26 redstone blocks in there. If we want to bump that up to, let's say, tier 6. Because um, I feel like tier 6 should be reasonable. Uh, we need to get more energy core stabilizers. Because once you go to tier 5 or higher, you need 36 instead of just the 4 we have on the outside. We'll look at those in a minute. We need about 32 more of those. For draconian blocks, we need um, 100 more minus 4. So this is 100, so we're going to do minus four, and that should be what we need. I literally just turned all my draconium into blocks. And now we have just a little bit left. We're gonna have to go mining again. Um, hey, this thing's still running, right? Yay, that's good. Diamonds, eh, we're up to 185, not bad. Hey, this disk drive filled up. Good thing I set up a new disk drive system. All right, so with that said, uh, redstone, we currently have 26 and we're gonna need 178. So the difference there is 152 redstone blocks. So let's get redstone one, two. So that is um, 128, right? And then 128 plus 30 is 158. And we said 52, right? 152 new blocks of redstone. I think that is correct. So with that in mind, I think we've got the redstone and draconium to do this. So then all we really need to bump this tier up to tier six is 36 energy core stabilizers. So we've already got four up there. So let's teach it, or let's ask it to make 32 more of these guys. That's just gonna require some redstone, some draconium, some blaze rods. It's really not that bad. It'll just take a moment to craft it all. But I mean, that's fine. Auto crafting for the win, right? Actually, it's going pretty smoothly. Wow, that was really fast. Cool, energy core stabilizers. So just as a reminder on the numbers here, we're currently storing nine billion, almost 10. Um, getting up to tier six will give me 356 billion RF. Pretty sustainable amount of power, right? I mean, uh, tier seven is 2.14 billion, or trillion, 2.14 trillion RF. The numbers get silly. And then tier eight is pretty much infinite. It might as well be infinite. Trust me, it's a huge amount. Um, that said, I feel like six is probably the good route to go. And then if we decide to upgrade later, we can. But I think 356 billion RF. That'll probably hold me over. So let's deactivate this guy for a moment. That's gonna start hurting some power, but hopefully we can hold it over until we get this done. Uh, so if I tier up to six is what we decided to go with that's the size wow that's that sizing is um pretty pretty big we're gonna have to move these guys which isn't the end of the world not 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 the end of the world but that seems reasonable ish so, and we have to replace so these things need to be redstone blocks um so what i'm probably going to do is get some kind of swapping wand here um let's use the rod of shifting crust because i don't think that thing's going to complain about any amount of and let's get some bricks cool so what does it look like on the inside it's going to be hard to tell the this outside here needs to be redstone i don't know what the inside needs to be if it's redstone or what um the build guide is really what's going to tell us i don't even know what's currently in there for that matter let's all right so let's get to work first things first what i want to do is tear back down to four and activate it and what it's going to do is it's going to refill all of our buffers real fast cool that tells me that everything's buffered up right we've got some power in all these things and we're cool that should hold over our base until we get this thing back up and running so let's deactivate him again tier up to six um and activate the build guide okay so these guys definitely have to be shifting crusted so let's see if i could do we have a swapping wand? I'm gonna try the swapping wand. Stone bricks. It's illegal to swap this block. Look at you. So, can I, you know what I'm gonna do? I just wanna get in there and see. So I think what you're telling me is we're cool. I'm 
man, that is really kind of hard to see, but I think the core needs to be entirely redstone. So if that's true, then what I want to do is replace all these blocks with redstone. And that is like suspiciously, that is silly how hard that is to see. But yeah, all these guys need to be redstone. So if I were to, yeah, I didn't think so, but I should be able to do this. Yeah, that, that, that should have been redstone. <laughs> Not a big deal. It's easy enough to fix, right? Um, I think that's accurate. Cool. Good deal. Okay. So then we want to lay out redstone a three by three up here. A three by three on all sides. And we'll know that we did this right because I got the exact amount of redstone and draconium that I need. So in theory, uh, if I do everything right, we should know it pretty easily. So that is the bottom, the four sides, this one needs it. Meanwhile, my base is like, hey, Dyer, where's all that power that you uh, were originally giving us? That needs to be a redstone block, yes. Nice, it's really highlighting a block that's out of place for me, which is cool. Like that. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that, that's the one that's out of place. That makes sense, and so is that one. All right, and then we just have one, two, three there. And that should be good for redstone. It looks like we're done with redstone. So now let's move these. So basically, I'm just going to have to move each. I'm going to need to move these up. Let's go two. So you So this will wind up being like that. Not you though. Okay. So from here we'll go up one or two more and then we'll plant it was like glass this dude and it's annoying that I have to break that and move it but what are you gonna do actually this one goes here and then we'll have like a one block gap to here and we'll redistribute that power in a minute and then we can pop down this guy again and this was our output right there we go energy out nice and this is our energy in yes that is correct cool so now we just place our draconium all around and we should be able to reactivate the dude we have to move the guy underneath but that's okay that won't be a big deal good and I think this will pretty much be 
set. The nice thing about this is there is kind of a pattern to the way this is built out. So once your brain kind of intercepts what that pattern is, you're good to go. Nice. Okay. So we've got nine more, which is perfect. That's what I would expect to see. So we will have the nine more here. And that should be a valid block. The only thing now that we have to do is um, I want to get, so we'll do this, this, that's your input block. Did the glass have to go on second? It might have. <sighs> Come on. Dire wolf. There we go. Beautiful. And then we'll want to reconnect this guy to the laser setup. So the power can get in there. So I'll just do that real fast because that's easy. You get connected to this dude. And hey, it's raining. Nice. All right, so let's see if the core is valid. Core is valid, stabilizers are invalid. So that means I did everything right with the core. Now we just need to extend our stabilizers. So this goes something like it's a 3x3 three three that you build around the existing stabilizer. And if you build it right, it'll turn into that cool-looking ring shape. Cool. Nice. Beautiful, everything's active. So I'm gonna deactivate the build guy and we're gonna activate this thing. And we now have, wow, <laughs> 5.41 billion RF is only 1% full. Crazy as that. Uh, so you actually should be good and valid now to start sending power in. And we're getting power, nice. And you might need to be right-clicked to allow power out. Yeah, you are, okay, cool. So then we wanna bind you to here. And this thing gets bound to all my remote crystals. And at some point, what do you mean that's not about? There you go. At some point, I will probably say, hey, why isn't this machine or factory or what have you running? And the reason will probably be because I forgot to relink it. But I think that's, that and my main base. Sweet. So power is probably getting dumped out of there pretty fast, but it probably just refilled all the internal buffers. So my base probably stayed alive while I did that. And now it's just kind of refilling up a few buffers here and there. Probably specifically this one. Yeah, that's getting refilled. Beautiful. All right, uh, let's take a quick nap. So now we have a lot of power uh, storage capability which is nice. We're still generating the same amount, but at least we can store more now, which is cool. So you're still generating, oh, what is going on here, 14.3? You know what, he might need to be re-escalated because his, his power buffer probably filled up, so he needs to re-establish himself. Let's redo this. So I think the turbine just needs to speed back up. What are we at? Yeah, see, turbine's running again. So I think what happened was is the turbine slowed down while the energy buffer was full, thinking it had nowhere to send the power. Um, so it kind of stopped running everything, which is fine. It's running again now, though. So it'll take a minute to speed back up. And then when it does, we'll be producing the RF we expect to again. So let's come back in a moment and be ready to make sure this thing is running. I'm gonna wait for my turbine to speed up again, and then we'll confirm. So yeah, it's in the blue bar. That means it's, I believe that means that it's in spin up mode. Cool, nice. So it looks like it got close enough that uh, it activated the rotors. So it's, it needs to get up to 1800 to stay happy zone, right? Perfect is 1800. Got to 16-ish and then activated the um, coils. So now we're producing around 21,000. So back up and running power production wise. In preparation for generating more power, I wanted to make sure this orb was up to speed. And I think we're in a really good place with it now. I think, you know, what did we say the capacity here was? 356 billion? 
think that's more RF than we'll probably need in this series. I could be wrong. It's always a potential. But, uh, you know, for now, I think we're cool. I know, I said that last time, and I was wrong. But this time, I probably won't be wrong, maybe. So what I'm going to do is wrap up the episode here, and then between episodes, I'm going to debate how I want to do power generation. I, I want to check out both the rainbow power gen and the draconic orb thing. So if I'm going to do draconic orb, I think what I'm going to need to do between episodes is probably upgrade to eight fusion crafting injectors at the chaotic tier. Um, so if we decide to go that route, I'll come back next time with those guys upgraded. Um, but if I decide to go the, the, the extra utilities way, we'll see. We might do something different. I don't know. But for now, Darwin20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.